Good morning, everyone. Dr. Vicki here, speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center. Um, today is Saturday, <laughs> in case you didn't know, October, nope, November 18th. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> the moon right now is in Aquarius. It just moved into Aquarius about a half hour ago. It's about 7 in the morning here on the East Coast. Um, that Aquarius moon, of course, is it's a good moon. It's a collective energy. It's an opportunity for progressive change moon. We're more open to out-of-the-box solutions. And uh, certainly the old ways of solving problems don't seem to work. So why not out-of-the-box solutions? Why not something more progressive? What do you think, Charlie? Something more progressive? You in for that? He's thinking thinking Lincoln oh I think that was a yes so uh early 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 this morning and for some people last night Mars and the sun conjoined at 26 degrees of Scorpio so uh, if you know your chart you know where 26 degrees of Scorpio may lie um there's a, a, a burst of energy the sun illuminates Mars invigorates energizes and uh, in Scorpio, we can utilize that energy to get down to the bottom of things, to dig deep, to uh, really go do the, do the difficult work that needs to be done to get to the bottom of something. And so depending on where that might fall in your own chart, could indicate um, where, get, like, where the location or the theme of the getting to the bottom of it uh, could be like for me, 26 degree of um, the 26 degree of Scorpio is in my fourth house. So this would be a time to, if I wanted to put energy into renovating or redoing, right? Um, my home, right? That's how that would work. So, um, it's an interesting um, energy. It happens every two years. The sun and Mars comes together. And where it sits on the tree of life activates the path of cosmic justice. So any action, any, any time you put your energy out there, it is going to have consequence. Now, it doesn't mean you don't do it. It means that when you do it, you do it at, to your highest intention. Back in 2015, this conjunction occurred on Donald Trump's birthday, on his son. And of course, we know what happens in 2015, right? All of a sudden, it was like a freight train, and freight train's name was Donald, and it ran through our country, uh, and we are where we are right now for a lot of, you know, on a lot of levels because of that. Not all of them bad because things had to change, uh, but a lot of, a lot of bad, <laughs> bad. And I bring that up because this particular conjunction is actually on Joe Biden's sun and Venus. Sun and Venus. Venus, the conciliator, right? In Scorpio, sharing That conciliatory energy is necessary for the world to calm down, calm down a few levels, I think. Now, as to whether um, Joe Biden can actually accomplish that, we'll see. I think he can. He's pretty old, but he's been around for a long time. So it'll be interesting to see how this particular conjunction manifests itself and you know a note to to joe is that and i know he probably knows this because he's the president of the united states so when you're the president of a major country in the world everything you do is going to have karmic consequence right but it's important that the themes of venus i think and the and and the sun in in scorpio are brought to four and uh venus um, is what we value. And Scorpio is sharing. I know it, most people don't think of necessarily Scorpio is sharing, but it is. 
And so we have to share the challenges and share the rest and the, and the, the challenges and the good stuff, right? We got some pretty colors this morning. Yeah, so that's the deal, guys. So see where that 26 degree of... Uh, see where that 26 degree of Scorpio falls in your chart and you'll have an idea of what gets energized. You might have a planet there. Uh, for me, it's uh, in my fourth house. I don't have a planet there, but it is opposite my Venus. And it is... Uh, square my Uranus. <laughs> and my nodes so things should be quite interesting for me over the next two years and hopefully we'll be able to uh watch it together yeah okay uh hey charlie coming in have a little bite to eat yesterday uh i was in uh in cambridge with my friend jackie and it was a beautiful day and the sky was so blue in fact the picture that you're gonna see that I'm putting up as the as the picture for the day, right? Um, it was actually I was sitting on the, on a bench waiting for Jackie to come get me from the bookstore, and I just was sitting there and I looked up and I realized I was under this glorious tree with the blue sky. So that's the picture. Uh, that's just on Central Square. It was a beautiful day, and uh, the city hadn't lost a lot of its leaves. Here we've lost most of our leaves. You see. And I think the reason for that is because we're by the ocean and it's windier here and the leaves in Cambridge were still kind of on the trees in all their glory. So I have a couple of pictures that I'll share with you over the next couple of days. All right, guys, take care. Have yourself a wonderful day. Like and subscribe. Charlie, you hungry? Come on, buddy. Come on, big boy. See, now if I had the, the can of cat food, he'd be right here. He's like, I'll wait. All right, guys. Well, have yourself a great day. Uh, have a good weekend. Be careful out there. It's still Mars. Uh, Mars sun can also, you know, activate people's shadow side because Scorpio is often associated with shadow. Not completely, but often. So be aware and take care. And I'll see you again tomorrow morning. Much love, everyone. Namaste.